AWWE 2K Universe, we have a very special guest here today, NXT Champion, Finn Balor. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> There's a lot of online clapping at me right now. Uh, I'm Brian Vohr, and we have uh, Shane Kemp here, and Lionel Jinx. How's it going, guys? What's um, up? For those who aren't familiar, why don't you guys explain your roles as developers of the 2K Will do, Brian Vohr. Did you... Did you do your what you yeah. what you do and who you are. Yeah. I'm the social media guy. Yeah, that's him. I'm the guy that's tweeting all the stuff at you. All the forums and all that. that that's him. That he yep. takes care of that. Yeah, uh, yeah. I'm Lionel Jinx. I'm the creative director of the WW2K franchise. So looks, uh, presentation. Um, I work with Shane and his group, uh, just bouncing ideas off each other. Artiste extraordinaire. That is yes. true. It's true. true. Yeah. Uh, you know, brown bag extraordinary. Yeah. Right. <laughs> uh, Shane Kemp, you can explain what you do too. I am the animation lead on the game. I do all the animations in the game, so cut scenes and entrances, and I also help design showcase this year. So if you guys are enjoying showcase. Um, I made Finn's entrance, and I saw mocap with Finn. So it was good times. Do you take the food around on your chest? <sighs> no. Not Would you take that? I'd do it, yeah. i trust him. you take that coup de Really? Yeah. <laughs> i trust him, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh, I wouldn't. That's probably I've taken, many a man. i trust him. <laughs> yeah. I still wouldn't think it. <laughs> I don't know if I'd get back up. Awesome. Well, uh, we're going to be uh, playing some matches today. We're, Finn's going to try out a few, uh, a little bit of the game as well. Um, yeah, but we're going to attempt to play. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, you're going to we'll do teach, great. We'll teach you something. Oh, yeah. Okay, you yeah. do great. We're going to start out with uh, Lionel and Shane uh, playing the first match together just to kind of warm everybody up. Yeah, if you guys watch. Right now, a little, I little, little, I little, little, little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Let's, let's go. All let's right. go for it. And if you guys have uh, any questions for the dev team or NXT superstar Finn Balor, uh, feel free to bring him up in the chat. I think he's the NXT champion. Insane. That's yeah. Good. Yeah. With that. Royalty, man. Royalty. <laughs> yeah, he's yeah. right. Big dog. So, while well, you guys are getting going, um, oh, uh, no, Finn, uh, we got some questions right off the bat. Like, oh. just in general, uh, this is your very first uh, WWE game. What's it like kind of seeing yourself in the game and um, being part of the process? Uh, it's real cool, you know, obviously grew up uh, playing all the games uh, as a kid. Huge fan of like all the wrestling games. And uh, to kind of see myself here on the screen <laughs> <laughs> against uh, Sheamus, is, uh, it's, uh, it's real surreal, you know. And I was always kind of like intrigued to how they like made it so real and uh, been lucky enough to be involved in the experience of like doing the mocap uh, out here with 2k and like just seeing how much like attention to detail goes into it and how many times they made me do all my moves <laughs> Shame. <laughs> when i was supposed to be off that day <laughs> uh, uh, you know it, it really kind of helped me understand like how much work goes into the game and uh, and like you know i I had no idea. I just thought it was like, you know, a bunch of coders just like writing code, and then that's how it, it comes uh, out on the screen the way we see it. But it's not. It's literally the wrestlers coming in, like executing their moves, like filmed from like a thousand vantage points, and, uh, and what you see is the final product on the screen now. Very nice. By the way, uh, on the chat, Andrew Daniels twenty says it's a pleasure to meet you here. Well, Andrew Daniels, 20, it's a pleasure to meet you too. Just uh, for anyone that doesn't know, that is uh, Seamus, the WWE champion. And uh, just so the world knows, I faced Seamus uh, two weeks ago, six nights in a row. And I beat him six Ooh. nights in a row. So Ooh. where does that yeah. leave me? <laughs> so you might have a... Uh, Another gold in your future, possibly. Perhaps, perhaps. Take that fella. Take that fella. Oh, is this but the this demon? No. no. I'm going to let you show off the demon. Okay, yeah, yeah. Kind of like we did it uh, at MoCap that day. Yeah, yeah. You get yeah. to see your model for the first time. Uh -huh. And 
Finn actually caught a mistake on our on our part. The straps on the boot, you're like, no, those are supposed to go under. And yeah. Make the six pack more defined. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, as speaking of uh, Seamus, that's got to be pretty insane that there's uh, two Irish champions in the men's division. Yeah. And I saw that uh, you guys have both kind of tweeted out uh, photos uh, of you guys together with your belts. Yeah, it's, it's real, uh, it's hard to believe because like, back when we were doing it uh, back in Ireland, like in, you know, early 2000s, I remember meeting Seamus in around 2003. And, you know, we just have a chat about, you know, what we could possibly do in the future if we, like, left Ireland or, you know, left Europe and kind of had a really good, like, made a really good go of it and had a proper shot at, you know, kind of pursuing our dreams. And, you know, 12 years later, NXT champion, WWE heavyweight champion, it's, uh, you know, so it just goes to show that, like, you know, if you really put your mind to something and, you know, really, like, follow your... Uh, your passions, you know, you can achieve exactly what you want to do. That's awesome. Uh, this this mocap, uh, this doesn't look familiar, to be honest with you. I, this, <laughs> I knew, was, I knew that was coming. Uh, <laughs> I knew it. Oh boy. It oh. Do, you know, it does look like somebody, but it's not it's me. Not exactly. It's like it's some like they've done a very good job. But it's not perfect. Oh, you killing me! Uh, I don't know, fellas. Who's who, who done that mocap uh, on, on this? It, is that actually mine? Uh, so, <laughs> so here's the rub. So, because we shot your mocap kind of late, wasn't able to get it in the game right away. But it is coming in the patch. So oh. the patch will be coming out, and you'll get both the demon version and the regular Finn Balor version entrance okay. done by you. Oh, done by me. So, yes. so what you're saying is that. The actual mocap used in the game right now was for my entrance was not done by me. <laughs> True. <laughs> thanks, thanks, Ben. That hurts, guys. Right? <laughs> Why, Shane? How so many times did Shane? you go through that? Uh, <laughs> I could not. I could not do it in time. I wanted to. Trust me, I wanted to. And I heard that you talked to Lionel about it, and I was so bummed. I was well, more bummed about that than anything else. It was you terrible. Were, you well, were. you know, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist, and I was excited to see uh, see the uh, the mocap for the entrance. And I know you guys made a big deal of it, like on the launch day, with uh, we're like, oh, we got Finn Balor's full entrance. And I was like excited to see it, and then I logged on, and like within like three seconds, I realized, hang on a second, <laughs> something <laughs> oh, that is amazing. I don't, I don't move exactly like that. I move <laughs> similar like that, but not exactly. Well, so, uh, and I know somebody who moves exactly like that. That's the thing. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, oh, yes, it would be. Yeah. <laughs> oh, we got uh, we got a question from uh, King of Swing One. I uh, wonder, Sven, if you could face one person at WrestleMania, who would you like to take on? Oh, um, well, right now, I would actually love to face Kevin Owens. Uh, you know, we've kind of came into NXT together, went through a lot of the, the same struggles of adapting to, you know, life in America, Florida. NXT, WWE, Performance Center, like, you know, we kind of went through it all together. And now uh, we, we kind of bonded over that, became very good friends outside of the ring. And I think uh, he definitely brings the best out of me inside of the ring. So uh, I would love to face Kevin Owens someday at WrestleMania. Awesome. And that, uh, that's where you uh, got your championship from, if I memory serves me correctly, right? It is, yeah. You know, that was a very kind of full circle moment going back to uh, Tokyo uh, you know obviously I'd spent eight years in Japan that building that uh, we done the, the NXT title match against Kevin was the, the same building that I went to watch my uh, first New Japan show and I actually had my last New Japan match there and uh, obviously you know there was a lot of indecision about you know whether I should um, come to NXT and uh, oh. Oh, there we go, Reverse Bloody Sunday. And, uh, you know, I had a lot of uh, hesitation about whether I was making the right decision, but, you know, a year later to return there with the, 
WWE main roster to face Kevin Owens, someone who I'd become very close friends with for the NXT Championship in that build, and that was, you know, so special to me. It was, uh, you know, I couldn't have written the script any better. Uh, we have uh, another one from Jamie Jay-Z32. Uh, when you were a kid and you played um, any of the WWE games, did you ever, uh, what kind of characters did you create or did you ever try to make a version of yourself? Oh yeah, I'd always be trying to make a version of myself. And it, pretty similar to, uh, to what is going on right now on the screen, so. Uh, you know, I was always kind of more into the cruiserweights uh, in the games. Interesting because when I'd watch as a fan, I was always into the big guys. Uh, but when I was playing the games, I was kind of always more into the kind of all rounders. You know, so like guys like uh, Eddie Guerrero and, and uh, Shawn Michaels and stuff like that. We've got another one from Ringo HD. If you were a wrestler, what would you like your job to be? Um, well, I would love to be an astronaut, but I don't think I have. A, <laughs> I don't think I have the required skills to exactly be an astronaut. But uh, I always kind of romanticize about. Uh, when I finish wrestling about going back to Ireland in the countryside and maybe uh, working on a little farm or having my own little farm and just kind of working off the land. So that's, that's ideally what I would like to do. Speaking of returning home, you guys have the NXT tour of the United Kingdom from December 10th through the 16th coming yeah. very soon, yeah. culminating in NXT TakeOver London on December 16th. Um, what is it like to kind of have the first uh, NXT international tour kind of uh, in the UK so close to home? Yeah, it's um, it's quite interesting because when I was leaving, you know, the independence out in the UK, you know, obviously I have a huge connection there and like, you know, kind of felt like I was leaving a, a part of myself behind that was never going to kind of be recaptured again. and. When I came to NXT, I realized that you know it does have a, a very similar atmosphere to a lot of the independent companies with regards, you know, how, how uh, it's structured the, the matches and um, you know the crowd involvement. And uh, to kind of, you know, a year and a half later after after leaving the UK to get to return, you know, seven nights straight. Here we go. Is he gonna hit it? Drop it. Oh! Yeah, no, but it's amazing to get the return to the UK, you know, seven nights straight. Um, like a lot of towns that I've been to like hundreds of, hundreds of times before and kind of culminating with the first international NXT special in, uh, in London and Wembley. Uh, Wembley Arena is going to be incredible. Do you get any chance to uh, any little a little bit of time here to like visit home and um, catch up with family? Uh, when we done the show in Dublin last month, uh, I got I was lucky enough to be given two or three days off, and I flew into Dublin two days early, and uh, I got to see my folks and my brothers and sister. And uh, after the uh, they're all going to come to the show uh, to take over in London. And I'm going to hang out with them in London for a couple of days and then uh, head home for the holidays after that. Very cool. What does your family think about you uh, having that gold around your way? Yeah, they're not, you know, they just, they're huge fans, you know. They don't really, uh, you know, worry too much about wins and losses and, and the gold and stuff. They're just, like, there for the, the entertainment value of the show. And, you know, they're, they're huge fans, you know. And last year, they... You know, they've been to Full Sail. Uh, they've came over to San Jose when we done uh, the two nights before WrestleMania. They were there uh, for the NXT in San Jose. And, uh, you know, they were in Dublin when I done the main roster match against uh, Sheamus when I beat him in Dublin, among other venues. But, <laughs> so they're, they're huge fans, and, and they'll be there in London too. Awesome. We have a, a question from Endless Phantom. Wants to know who your favorite wrestler was when you were a kid. Oh, Shawn Michaels, like hands down. 
uh, oh. every time. Ooh, did that hurt? <laughs> <laughs> Is that a one, two, three? No. 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 Out, yeah. oh. Last minute. That's close. Oh, I thought that was a one, two, three. Uh, Lunatic X13 uh, wants to know about the your paint, um, specifically uh, how far along your designs are uh, for the upcoming NXT uh, special. Well, I was just telling the gentleman here that uh, I have a couple ideas for uh, what we might do in London, but uh, nothing's ever for certain really until the last minute. Believe it or not, the uh, what we done in Brooklyn was like literally last minute, and it was still, it was uh, it hadn't we hadn't started by like when the show started at seven, and um, we started doing it at about seven fifteen, and uh, the women's uh, titles match was in the ring when uh, when I when I <laughs> finally got everything done, and you know there, there was there was still a lot to a lot to be done for uh, for Brooklyn takeover, and you know it wasn't as kind of sharp and as on point as I would have hoped if we had had more time but you know just sometimes the day runs away from you you know you get involved in, in different things you know there's a lot of media to be done and interviews and you're getting pulled left right and center like before the show so uh, so that was a oh, bro kick oh. but, uh, yeah but I've, I've got a couple good ideas for London and uh, fingers Ooh. crossed we can pull it out and it'll uh, It'll be an interesting night if, if we can pull it off. I think it's going to be one of the coolest ones we've ever done. Nice. I can't believe that. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. <laughs> um, what I was curious about, uh, we've seen some new uh, vignettes on NXT about uh, Sami Zayn returning. Oh, yeah, and yeah, you guys yeah. Are, uh, you guys were uh, shown hanging out and building Lego uh, yeah. in your... Uh, in your uh, well, documentary thing, so yes. are you ex you're uh, excited to see Sammy's Whoa, oh. hit it! Uh, well, I was building Lego. Sammy was breaking Lego. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so small! Oh, you're oh, so you're good! Are you kidding me? Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, you know, everyone at NXT is excited for uh, for Sammy to return. You know, he's been, he, he's been a vital part in kind of what. NXT has become and he's kind of one of the people that you know has kind of really led the charge in, in what uh, NXT uh, is and uh, you know we've missed him uh, you know with his injury and we're all looking forward to him coming back awesome we got uh, Zega BZ wants to know uh, what's the most memorable match you've ever uh, seen or been a part of in NXT um it's got to be for me to match in Tokyo against Kevin. Uh, just, you know, for what I said earlier on, you know. Oh, kind of that. oh there we go. That's right. That's just, like, just like in Dublin, just like in Cardiff, <laughs> just like in London, <laughs> just like in Leeds, just like in Manchester. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Seamus. <laughs> If you're watching Seamus, you're both fully welcome to come on our live stream later and refute these claims. <laughs> uh, yeah, but yeah, going back to the question, definitely, yeah, for me the most memorable memorable match was uh, was the match against Kevin in Tokyo. Just you know, for for the reasons that I was saying earlier on about it being in Japan, about what me and Kevin had went through to kind of to get to that point, his last match in NXT, kind of the beginning uh, of. Uh, a new era for Finn Balor as NXT champion. So, awesome. how's the crowd differ, like from states versus? Uh, you know, there, there is a difference. It's hard to kind of explain it in words, but they're very, they're very attentive to what you're doing uh, physically. You know, they're not, uh, you know, they're very intrigued by you know every single, uh, you know, move that you make, like. The smallest hand movement, you know, can, oh, yeah. can, you know, and uh, and they watch it more uh, like a tennis match as opposed to like you know uh, a, a soccer match where there's a song going chance all the time. You know, it's it's they're really paying attention to every little detail. We've got a, a big fan, obviously, uh, named uh, Devitt's Purpose. Who wants to know who inspired you to become a NXT slash WWE superstar? Um. You know, 
nobody really inspired me. It was something that I felt like I just had to do, you know. Uh, the decision to, you know, become a wrestler in the first place was, you know, a decision that wasn't really mine. It was just something I had to do because I felt like I just had to get it out of my system. I was like a fan since I was five years old. And, you know, I was always big into sports as, as I was growing up. And, uh, you know, when I was 18, I'd finished school. And I thought, you know, I got to try and get this out of my system and, you know, figure out what it's all about. So I went to a uh, training school in England, started training out there. And, uh, you know, just wanted to have one match and one match that the two matches. And that led to kind of like six years of uh, working with NWA UK Hammerlock. And uh, after that, I was like, oh, I want to have a want to have a match in, in the States. So I actually came to the States and I was in Boston staying with family. And uh, I had a couple of matches up there, got picked up by a scout who asked me to go to Japan for three months to train. I was like, oh, of course I go to Japan for three months and train, you know. And uh, you know, I was there about three weeks and they asked me did I want to have a match. I said, of course I'll have a match. So three months turned into eight years and then uh, you know, it just felt like the time was right, you know, last year to uh, to make the move to NXT. Awesome. Well um, yeah, we're going through some custom moves here, but I yeah. think we're gonna try to do a little uh Triple threat business. Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Take the sticks yeah. and uh, join in on this. Just playing against some of the people that are most familiar with the game in the world, so uh -huh. don't feel intimidated. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just playing against the guys that made it. <laughs> you, know, you know, all the cheat codes and everything. <laughs> At least the game designer's not here. Yeah. How long does it take to get the body paint done? It just really depends on the level of detail we use and uh, and really the amount of time we have, you know, because I could sit there for 10 hours and, you know, increase the detail. Or, you know, if you've only got three hours, uh, am I am I picking someone? Yeah, just go down. Go down? Yep. Yeah. And then hit uh, X. X. Got it. Superstars. Oh, I'm on, I'm on two. Sorry, I thought I was on the middle there. Uh, yeah, there's over 120 people in this thing, so... Yeah. It's a hard to choose from. All over 120. No one, will, no one will hold against you if you choose yourself. <laughs> <laughs> no, I know who I want to pick. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. We're going to go that route. Big man moves. Yeah, as I, as I was saying, uh, as a kid, I was always intrigued by the big man. And uh, big show is big as they come, right? That's right. Ooh, Bam well, Bam Cesaro. Speaking, yeah. of, uh, speaking of big men... Uh, uh, Tim, we've got. Uh, do you want to maybe uh, just say hi real quick? Uh, we have someone. Absolutely. Come on yeah, in, buddy. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, another special guest here with uh, Finn today. Uh, we have WWE's Tim White. In the crouch a little bit so everyone can see you. Yeah, there again. you go. <clears throat> what a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this guy has worked with with all the greats. Uh, long time as a ref. Um, but uh, yeah, you. Uh, uh, speaking of big men, you uh, had a lot of a lot of time with Andre the Giant. Absolutely, and um, I've said in many interviews what a great person he was. He was a gentle giant. Thank God for that. Yeah. <laughs> because he went through more than you'll ever know. <clears throat> Being his size, and he couldn't hide, and everywhere we went. But his temperament was perfect, and we connected the first day. And uh, we became best friends. And That's awesome. uh, I'll tell you what, uh, all his accomplishments in, um, in, in professional wrestling, um, the job he did in the Princess Bride movie. Oh, oh which is, um, <laughs> one of my which favorites. Is, and um, you know what? He was challenged. He's just a giant. Yeah. Can he, you know, can he pull this off? And he did. And um, when we got back to his ranch after that movie premiered, he had scripts from every uh, Hollywood studio. He said, no, just wanted to prove I could do it. Nice. And that was it. So that was Andre. He was easy going. I love him to death. I love the business. And I love these new kids. <laughs> coming through. Thanks, Tim. Awesome. Yes. Well, thanks a lot. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry for springing that on. So <laughs> well. Hey, thanks, Tim. Thanks, Dan. Right. Only do, fellow. <laughs> <laughs> Anybody?
brother, you want a peanut? <laughs> <laughs> Andre the Giant, another uh, another person on our enormous roster this year, right? Yes, he is. <laughs> yes, he definitely is. Awesome. Um, well, we've got another question uh, from chat. Uh, Jake Watson, 888, uh, wants to know, uh, how you feel about facing Samoa Joe for the NXT to defending your title against uh, Samoa Joe? And he says, by the way, I'm voting for you. Uh, well, thanks, Jake. Um, yeah, it's going to be an interesting, uh, interesting match. Obviously, myself and Joe have a like, long history together as friends. And uh, this kind of you know disagreement has, uh, has only been kind of something recent. So something that I haven't really uh, had time to think about but uh, I'm sure the match will uh, will prove that uh, you know Finn Balor is the, the rightful NXT champion uh, you know Samoa Joe claims he deserves uh, a shot but you know you have to earn everything in this business and uh, I'm, I'm gonna teach him uh, teach him a lesson the hard way that he's gonna have to have to earn it yeah you think after uh you guys winning the Dusty Rhodes Tag Team Classic together, that you know friendship and that bond would uh, would prevail. But uh, yeah, here we go. Oh. Look at that! <laughs> oh, dang it! Oh, my natural. <laughs> really? <laughs> first time on the sticks. Really? Oh, oh no! no. Working this is what I like. Good work, it. For those of you tuning, just tuning in, uh, Finn Balor go. is playing as the big show right now. Yeah. He's the one beating I'm everyone away. away. I'm, just... I'm going to stay away. I'm going to stay away. Uh oh. Uh oh. 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 Now, Finn, not trying to distract you so our developers yes. win, but uh, any details you see like Ooh. in the NXT ring here that are that can call out, like, hey, they really got this little minute thing right. Yeah, uh, well, the barricades around the ring are, are spot on because uh, they're they're different than uh, what they use on on Raw and SmackDown. So that's uh, that's spot on there. Um, there's not a uh, enough Balor Club shirts in the crowd. Though. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we'll have to tweak that up for next yeah. year. I think. Yep. And we could add uh, referee Sean Bennett or, or Drake. Uh, Maybe, you know, that would have been a nice little touch. Yeah, I know, I'm just button bashing here, lads. You know, I said, okay, that's square, well, square is punch. Big yep. Show is known for his punches. And then X yeah. is the grapple. X is the grapple, I gotcha. And right, uh, right analog flips me around or something, flips you guys around. Like, it's like a go behind. Oh, oh. Yeah. Oh. Oh. And um, I would love to be able to say I have it at home in my apartment, but uh, unfortunately uh, the office didn't seem to trust that I could take care of it too well. So um, after what happened to that, um, you know, under the giant trophy, yeah, yeah, I can see why. Yeah, I'm yeah pretty trophies sure. have a bad record, I think. Yeah, it's survival, yeah. bad survival rates. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's at the performance center in, uh, in safekeeping. There we go. Ooh. Oh. There we go. So we have uh, Seppi FF14. Uh, their son wants to know how it feels to be an NXT champion. Uh, it feels great. It feels uh, like, you know, it's, um, it's really like solidified. Uh, my arrival in NXT and it's kind of justified the decision I made to come here and kind of you know put a kind of a fine cap on the, a hard first year in NXT and uh, it also kind of gives me uh, a lot of hope in the future you know because uh, you know all the past NXT champions have gone on to great things so hopefully I can I can do the same and follow suit. There we go. Lay the boots in. Oh, oh. That had to hurt. Can we do the taunts? 
Oh, yeah. De- uh, the, yeah. Deep the Deep end. Deep end. Deep end. Uh, yeah. It's the big show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Punch him. Oh. To, to, uh, to hear, so that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it is. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, lots of great stats. Lot of, lots of people uh, throwing your card in that game, and it's yeah. available for uh, for those aren't familiar. It's it's on uh, mobile devices, iOS and Android. Or um, we also have another question yeah. uh, from Jamie Jay Z32. If you could have a dream tag team match, who would be your partner? Ooh. And which past or present tag team would you face? Ooh, good question. Um, you know, there's such a huge amount of people that I'd want to team with. Um, you know, I've been lucky enough to have kind of teamed with uh, Hideo quite a lot. Obviously, he's recovering from uh, from an injury at the moment. Um, who would I like to team with? I would actually love to make a team with a lifelong friend of mine named Zach Zaber Jr. who's actually not currently uh, with WWE or NXT but uh, he's doing great things out in Japan at the moment and uh, hopefully someday he'll be able to come to NXT so that would be my tag team partner and uh, from history the tag team I would like to face would be Ooh, the Rockers. Ooh, yeah, nice. Shawn Michaels, Mario Gennetti. Oh, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's your answer, buddy. You have to watch out for those kicks, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and those tassels. <laughs> or, or windows, too. Yeah, yeah. That's just, right. just wait long enough, they'll break up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. <laughs> uh, so we have uh, a question from Ty Burns. Um, just wants to know, like, what does the uh, NXT locker room, uh, what's the feel going into TakeOver London? How pumped is everyone for this big tour and special? Oh, everyone's excited, you know. NXT, we, we've been on the road a few times. But oh, no, I stopped oh, it! I stopped it! I stopped it! <laughs> my debut... My uh, debut game. I'm like, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna hold okay, back. I'm gonna tell you fellas a little story, right? The, the, first, <laughs> the first time I was set to play this was uh, at the launch night in Brooklyn, uh, two nights or three nights before SummerSlam. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, the opponent I was supposed to play was Steve Austin. He was playing as himself. I was playing as myself. And right as the bell rung. You guys pull me out to go down to the red carpet and do interviews. <laughs> so this is actually my first game, oh. and I've beaten the two guys that have made the game. So like, I thought, what does that I'm say like, about you guys? It doesn't say much. I, I, I was trying to break it up because I, I wasn't even know. paying attention to what I was doing. I was just <laughs> button bashing. I you know how to make oh, a Shane, I think you got to hand something over, Shane. Yeah, I, I, I think oh. this guy needs to go. Yeah, there's there's got a oh, right I like this. I, don't know. I, don't I, this. I love this. I don't deserve it. I don't oh, deserve it. Let's get a shot of this. Tweet it out live here on the stream. Looking good there. Oh. Can we get Can we get one more picture with the two boys looking sad? Yes. <laughs> like yes. I'm already sad. Faces. Faces. I'm super sad, in fact. Sad faces here. Oh, great stuff. <laughs> Damn. Can't out, can't Seriously, out. Shane? Uh, I thought you had it. I thought I was trying to go for the kick out, but I'm like, oh, Lionel's got the jump. And yeah. I thought I two, had it, too. Yeah. Two little oh, too late. Yeah. That count felt a little fast. I'm, just saying. That's, I'm saying. 
That's a beautiful yeah. title, fellas. That's, That's a beautiful, beautiful title. title. I, don't, I think we might need to <laughs> have a rematch. <laughs> I think we might need to have a rematch, man. You know, I'm, uh, I'm feeling a little tired. <laughs> and, uh, I might have to just sit back and, <laughs> and watch it. I'll just, I'll just take it on online now. Uh, All right. Retire your championship. Let's watch the two losers play then. Yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's get another. Let's, yeah, so number one contendership for... match. <laughs> All right. It's a battle for second place, right? <laughs> The contenders out there. Might be you then. You go, Demon. Oh yeah. I'll go. All right. We have uh, this. we have another question from rematch for the title. Um, he says Woods is going to want to challenge Finn for that title. So Xavier Xavier Woods, uh, the, his channel up up down down, playing video games uh, and uh, doing streams and YouTube videos. Uh, I am sure he's gonna wanna wanna test your skills next time you guys run into each other. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know I will accept. I'll be a fighting champion and uh, accept all challengers. All right. Uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, Xavier, if you're watching, I'm sure you are. And um, set it up, 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 down, down. Whenever uh, we're both in the same place at the same time, let's uh, let's make it happen. Oh, Hideo versus Finn. How's uh, Hideo's uh, is his shoulder right? That's, that's been giving him trouble. Is it yeah. coming along? Yeah, yeah, it's coming along great. Uh, he's making great progress. So um, you know, hopefully in the next uh, like next few months, you know, uh, he'll be back to full strength. And you know, that's you know, we've been missing Sami Zayn. We've been missing Hideo. Uh, NXT has been doing incredible, and uh, you know, we can't wait for those guys to come back because you know, they're two integral parts of the team and. Uh, you know, when those guys come back, I think it's really going to take it to the next level. You're going to have a lot, a lot of yeah. competition to deal yeah. with at that point. Yeah. yeah, but you know, if uh, everything goes well in London. Yeah, well, I've, I've, uh, I'm pretty confident um, going into London. You know, as I am going into most matches. Okay. But uh, you know, I'm always, uh, I thrive on, uh, on challenges. And, oh, that looks cool, boys. Yeah. Yeah. Even though it's not me, not, yeah, it's, even though it's not my mom cap, it does look cool. Um, yeah, now having uh, having Sami Zayn and Hideo Tami back in NXT would be great, and uh, you know, I I, I you know kind of pride myself on rising to the challenge and rising to the, to the occasion, and that's two big occasions that I can have with both of those guys, you know. Man, listening to the reaction this guy gets from a crowd is it like having complete access to the performance center? Like, I mean, you go there often, like how often do you work out or train or? Yeah, so uh, the way it works is I'll go in and train there uh, for the whole day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So uh, I'll go in at uh, 9.30, I'll lift weights for two hours, we'll take an hour break and then, you know, uh, Monday we'll do like tape study where we'll review our matches from the previous weekend. Uh, then Tuesday will be the same thing, I'll go in and we'll do a weight session or a strength and conditioning and then... Um, after that, I'll get in the ring and do some sparring with uh, some of the boys that are in my class. You know, everyone's split into different classes. Then uh, Wednesday, be the same thing again. Then uh, in the evenings, uh, Wednesday evening, we'll have a promo class too, where we, you know, we'll practice some promo work and, as well. Then uh, Thursday morning, which uh, normally we have shows Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So uh, we'll either do some strength and conditioning on uh, Thursday morning before the show, or uh, we'll just get in and kind of roll around and kind of loosen up. Friday, we'll be in again in the morning, you know. Uh, but you know, after the show on Thursday night, we normally do it like a yoga class or like a lot of stretching and stuff, you know, to, to remain supple. Saturday morning, we'll take off. We'll just rest up. We'll go to the show Saturday night, and then uh, Sunday at the moment is our only day off. And you know, that's that can that's considering if we're not traveling, you know, because you know if we've done a show somewhere on Saturday and it's a, and, you know it might be a flight back, uh, flight back on on, uh, on Sunday morning. Now a lot of a lot of times this year, and I think moving forward, where you know we're going to be doing a lot more of uh, the road trips, and you know they're normally Friday, Saturday, Sunday, so then we come back on Monday, so we might get Monday or Tuesday off, and then we'll start again again on Wednesday. So it's really a full-on schedule, you know. I think that's one of the things that's kind of made uh, NXT so special with regards to that kind of feeling of a team. That's a great camera shot you guys got there, but you know, Shame. like, yeah, but uh, with regards. Uh, like you know, 
all the talent at NXT are going through that together. You know, we're traveling together, we're training together, you know, we're, we're working out together in the ring. Promo classes are all together. You know, it's a, it's a real team atmosphere. It's a team environment, and it really feels like we're all, you know, striving for the same thing. And uh, that's a, that's I think one of the things that people kind of look past when they look at like what's on the screen and the show. It's really the the, the locker room and the backstage and everything that goes into it is what makes NXT so special for me. You know. How does it feel to watch it grow? Because it went from like kind of almost like an indie show, like WWE's kind of indie developmental show, to this thing that almost rivals the main roster it shows, like Raw and SmackDown. It's it's huge. I mean, I watch it religiously. So I mean, it's, uh -huh. how does it feel to just kind of see it grow from what it was to what it is now? Yeah, well, you know, NXT was kind of starting to get a real name for itself when I was still in New Japan, and uh, you know, very rarely would I pay attention to anything, uh, you know, uh, wrestling related, and uh, you know. I was very good friends with uh, Adrian Neville and uh, Sami Zayn before I came here and you know I was seeing those guys absolutely tearing the house down and like you know it was something that you know I felt like I wanted to be a part of and uh, you know when I came in it, you know the wheels were already in motion that like you know NXT was gathering steam and uh, you know then when myself and Kevin and Hideo came in uh, you know it really kind of maybe had that little extra buzz and uh, you know I think uh, you know, obviously Full Sail has been incredible, but uh, taking it on the road made us really realize the extent of the reach that it has. Oh, yeah. Because, uh, you know, we're in we're in Florida, we're in, uh, we're in Orlando Full Sail, and, you know, the crowd are brilliant. You know, they're loyal, they're there every, you know, every two or three weeks when we, when we do the tapings, they're there and they're on fire, you know. And, uh, you know, they, they're as much a part of the success of NXT as anyone. But... It's very hard. It was very hard for us to gauge the scale of the reach that we had, yeah. because we were in that same environment, you know, for yeah. all those TV tapings, you know. And uh, it wasn't until kind of we, we took it on the road, and I can't remember the first show we went on the road. I think it was like a, it was like around uh, Pittsburgh area, and like the first show out the out, uh, the first match out the curtain was Enzo and Cass. And like you know, they came out and everyone in the crowd like crazy. like you know went crazy. <laughs> awesome. Everyone knew the promo word for word, and like we all kind of looked at each other behind the curtain. And like I'm getting goosebumps now telling this story because like we all kind of looked at each other. Oh, well, people know this. Like people know exactly yeah, what yeah. this is, you know. Oh, yeah. And uh, and you know it went it went from strength to strength. People you know kind of asked questions about whether we could do it in uh, in San Jose two nights before. Uh, mania and you know that was off the charts 8,000 people and then you know it went it went up again and you know to do uh to do brooklyn you know barclays center or whatever it was 14 15 000 people that was such uh, a crazy it event. was uh, yeah it, it was insane so it's really uh, it's like in the space of the year that that i've been here it's gone uh, from strength to strength and then um, you know obviously now we're going international which you know i don't think was ever a plan in the beginning but it, you know you know, it's just uh, it's it's been a really crazy ride, and who knows where it's going to go in the future. But you know, we've got a we've got a great team behind the scenes at the performance center. Incredible bunch of coaches. Uh, you know, a solid uh, crew. All the boys are dedicated, and uh, you know, it's something that I'm like very very proud to be a part of. Like, and everyone keeps talking about, uh, um, you know, when are you going to get called up to the main roster and things like you know. But for me. I think NXT is the hottest thing in wrestling right now, yeah. and, uh, and I want to be involved in NXT, and I don't want to be like the guy that you know goes up to Raw or goes up up to SmackDown. You know, I want to be the guy in NXT that's kind of there when I feel like the business has been changed. And yeah. kinda, you know, this is something very special that like people are gonna remember. You know, you know, in ten years' time, this kind of has the same feeling as say ECW had like you know ten years ago, and you know. Uh, uh, I, w I want to be one of the guys that's kind of involved in NXT and that, and that kind of rebirth of, of what we're doing right now. That's exactly what Shane was saying, because he's a huge ECW fan. And so when NXT started, you know, when you guys started doing your thing, he's like, you got to watch it, you got to watch it. It's like ECW. And mm -hmm. Over there rocking your, uh, your KO shirt, though. Yeah. <laughs> Putting you on blast, Shane. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we, have, we have another question from chat. Um, I believe it's I, I Town Jordy Wild 
uh, wants to know uh, what is your favorite WWE match in history? Uh, favorite WWE match would be Hogan versus Rock. Uh, WrestleMania, yeah, you know that's uh, that's just that's everything about sports entertainment to me. You know, but a lot of people probably have different opinions, but for me, uh, I've watched that match about you know twenty times, and uh, I never get tired of watching it. So that's definitely one of my favorites. Nice. Oh, well, we have uh, Valor Club Princess wants to know what do you do to improve cardio? Uh, well. You know, just a lot, a lot of uh, work in the ring. You know, I don't really do much, much cardio. Um, you know, uh, say traditional cardio. You know, on treadmills or running and stuff. But you know, obviously, what we do in the ring is very kind of has a high uh, energy output. And uh, you know, to be a wrestler, obviously, uh, I train to be a wrestler. So that's uh, that's pretty much all the cardio I do is you know in the ring, the twenty by twenty. Seems like a very effective way to. <laughs> Fill it up. Yeah. How do you get that six pack? That's, that's what we all do. That's, yeah, that's on screen. <laughs> <laughs> you like those three hours? <laughs> Start with the abs, work up. It should open up. Well, We're trying to break into a, a case here. Yeah. Yeah. For special no, I'm notorious for Let's that. go for it. Right. So let's go, let's go for it because there's a, a, a very special prize. <laughs> yeah, we got... Uh, Santa's uh, bringing gifts. Actually. Very special thing for you guys to check out here. Um, it's an under extra secure lock and key combination. Oh, <laughs> this is uh, the way I got it, the giant. Line up. Oh, he's got Double secret oh, security. Oh, oh, oh. For all of you at home. Double secret <laughs> security. <laughs> the biggest prize in oh, NXT. We got my jacket. Oh, 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 oh. pictures. Oh, my name's Shelly. Like now you're going to try it out? No, I'm going to try it out. That's on my wrist. Oh, yeah. Uh, check it out. That's what I'm go. talking about. Oh. There we go. Oh, oh see, that's. Oh. See, there we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's right there. We're missing something. <laughs> oh, oh my God. Can, can we get my other title as well, please? <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Oh, look at that. This guy. Oh. This, this guy. guy. There we go, boys. Oh, look at Let that. Let me get a picture of this. <sighs> that so is have, flashy. We have uh, NXT <laughs> champ and 2K champ Finn Balor here. Yeah. See, good. see, see what you did? Must be good to be the king. Mm -hmm. I'm not paying, dude. Seriously. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's, uh, you're letting him run wild. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Awesome. Yeah. Beautiful. So you got this uh, jacket custom made. There's a lot of custom details on here. Yeah. Club yeah. Logo. Club on the back. Yeah. They need to start selling that on the WWE shop. Yeah, let, uh, let me just do a whole my, no, my yeah, title for I definitely, a I definitely will. <laughs> <laughs> too, much, too, much, too much gold. Uh, hey, that, is, awesome. that is sweet. It's like Christmas morning. <laughs> yeah, you could probably pin me right now. It wouldn't, even, wouldn't even matter. Oh, I'm trying. Wow. That's awesome. So now I know how it's easy to get distracted in the ring when uh, you see yeah. something like this. Yeah. <laughs> things. I can totally roll you up right now. Uh, yeah. no, I'm kicking out. <laughs> oh, dang it. I try to sneak one in. <laughs> oh. oh, that's awesome. I saw so, that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or, oh, I, I will cheat all day. <laughs> so uh, when did you uh, when did you get the, uh, the, the jacket made and... Uh, who, uh, who did that for you? Uh, we have uh, we have a lot of you know seamstresses working uh, for the company full time, mm -hmm. and uh, that was uh, that was something I had done. Uh, I want to say uh, it was before the du just just before the Dusty Rhodes uh, Memorial uh, Classic. So uh, so a couple months ago, right? a couple, couple months, months ago. Yeah, yeah. 
very nice. Mm -hmm. We have a question from uh, More Lion Twenty Two. Wants to know how long it takes the demon paint to be applied, and I suppose removed. Yeah, as I was saying before, like normally I'll give myself a good three hours to uh, t to get it all on. You know, and it, it is a process, uh, but you know. The more time you have, obviously, you know, the, the more details you're going to be able to put in there, and uh, the more, the, like, the more, uh, you know, aesthetically pleasing it will look. But um, normally, I'll give myself, you know, three hours just to be safe. But you know, you you could be there like five or six if you if you really wanted to. Taking it off really just depends. Uh, but normally, it's a good two or three hours as well. Like you know, once you have the right kind of removal products, and it uh, really depends on like uh, how much is kind of eroded throughout the match too you know cause yeah. s sometimes uh, sometimes it, you know bits and pieces kind of flake off and, and come off but um, you know after the the match at uh, Barclays in Brooklyn uh, I was still at the building at 2am trying to get myself cleaned up <laughs> and uh, at 2am I just gave up there was still a lot here on my neck and uh, it, it was still on my back and stuff and I said oh, I'm giving up I, I need to get out of there uh, uh, Big Cass is a very close friend of mine and he wanted to take me for pizza which uh, and uh, it was artichoke pizza, which I'd never heard of. Yeah. And uh, he said, you know, he's obviously from New York, grew up there, <laughs> and uh, he wanted to take me for pizza. So at two o'clock, I left. Uh, two a.m. I left um, uh, Barclay Center, and uh, I went for artichoke pizza with still uh, like the demon teeth, all here, <laughs> and you know, <laughs> nice shirt on, trying to cover it up. But uh, but that was some great pizza. That was some of the best pizza oh, I've ever so had. Good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so pizza. Incredible. Yeah. New York. Oh, yeah. New York's got the yeah. best pizza. Yeah. It was, it was nice. incredible. Well, on a related <laughs> note, um, both Animal of Combat and Zeus KP want to know where the inspiration for the demon body paint came from. Uh, it was something uh, that I'd kind of been toying with for a while, and uh, when I was wrestling out in Japan, I'd. Um, I, you know, started wrestling a different style, and originally what I wanted to do was, you know, I'd uh, I'd wanted to take away everything that people were, kind of, attracted to about uh, the way I was wrestling, and my original idea was to paint myself entirely black and to look like a shadow on the ring because you know I didn't I, I didn't want uh, I didn't want people to to really kind of cheer for me anymore, you know, and uh, uh, that was the original idea, and then. Uh, the first night I'd done it, uh, I had a, I had this kind of brainwave of maybe like you know adding some teeth on there to maybe make it look a little bit scarier, uh, and you know in hindsight it kind of backfired because instead of, you know people not liking me, <laughs> they kind of <laughs> made, 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 made them uh, like me a little bit more. So, um, but you know it was, yeah that was maybe uh, two and a half three years ago that that it started. That was you know before before I came here and it's it's kind of evolved into you know different different things uh, over the years awesome well um, we got about five minutes left we have uh, one more question from the group um, Amy B321 uh, very, very much likes that you brought the jacket oh thank uh, you thank you and also wants to know if you have any advice for aspiring WWE superstars well, obviously, don't try this at home. So, uh, <laughs> what you want to do is you want to find yourself a uh, credible, uh, you know, training school, and uh, you know, someone you know with a lot of experience to go train under them. But what I always recommend people to do is not just find one training school. You know, you got to find a, uh, you know two or three, or you know, go to one for a couple months and find another one. You know, because no one person is gonna have all the answers. You know, and you know, no one person can show you everything. It's it's always good to get kind of a, you know. Uh, as many different opinions and as many different uh, styles under your belt as possible. So, uh, you know, that's what I done. I went, you know, a couple schools in, uh, in England. You know, came to came to America. Went to a couple schools up in Boston. Went to Japan. Went to the dojos out there. Was in Mexico and you know Arena Mexico. And uh, you know, I really feel that you know that kind of variety and of styles uh, helped me kind of evolve into the the performer I am today. Awesome. Um, well, uh, I guess uh, see where this match goes. We might be able to squeeze in one more question. But um, I guess. Um, oh, uh, 
Boom. Take that, guys. Devin's Purpose uh, wants to know if you could say a quick hi to Stacy. <laughs> <laughs> hi, Stacy. <laughs> Hopefully they, they got that recorded and uh, they can do a nice little uh, gif of that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> that's gonna be someone's ringtone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, when you did the the Kruger off the the ladder, uh huh, in, in Brooklyn. Yeah. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta be honest, I was not too happy when I was up there. Oh. <laughs> I was like, the quicker I get down off the top of this, the better. Uh, you know, they, uh, those ladders, they're high. When you're up there, it's even higher. But what people don't take into consideration is like, you know, it's very unstable, you know. Uh, the, you know, the, the thin layer of a pattern on the ring, like when it gets up like 10 feet up in the air, like, that uh, that that little like any kind of movement is amplified like times ten, you know, and uh, it's really unstable. Obviously, like, everyone's looking at you live <laughs> on the network, and uh, you know, you, you got Kevin Owens is like desperately trying to climb up and oh, yeah. you know take my head off too. So uh, yeah, it's it's uh, my hats off to like people like Jeff Hardy and things like you know for for the stuff they've done in the past because I think people kind of get conditioned to like seeing people come off the top of the ladder uh but that is well, like, like oof, like oh. even that. It's, oh. it, you know people kind of get conditioned to like seeing people climb up seeing people jump off but that is like it's a really scary thing to be up there and it's really uncertain it like you know and uh, you know hats off to, to all the guys that kind of you know paved the way for for the ladder matches you know Shawn michaels razor ramon you know the hardys the dudleys you know edge and christian you know they uh they're, they're all incredible. Awesome. Well, uh, thanks again for uh, Finn Balor, Shane, and uh, Linnell for appearing here on uh, on the show and for our special uh, appearance from Tim White. Uh, thanks, Tim. Tim. Um, thanks, Tim. more than welcome. Be sure to Mike. grab your copy of uh, WWE 2K16. We got the New Moves Pack DLC out right now. Uh, season pass is available and we have more DLC coming on the way uh, <laughs> NXT we have the uh, tour of United Kingdom running from December 10th through the 16th culminating in NXT TakeOver London on December 16th so be sure to grab your subscription to the WWE Network and tune in on that day thanks everybody for tuning in thanks everybody thanks, guys. thank you